Well, throughout its thousand-year history, the term stained glass has been applied to church windows, but thanks to one local artist, you can have a piece of stained glass custom created for your own home. Ann Wainer is sharing some of her creations with us today, and Ann, your work is beautiful. Thank you so much. How did you get started um, making stained glass pieces? Well, I love stained glass, and I took a leisure learning class at McNeese from Mr. Frank Thompson, who is pretty well known in this area, does beautiful work. And I just kind of kept doing it as a hobby through the years. It's been, I've lost track of time, 12 to 15 years ago, I think. And I've retired and decided to make a business of it because I love it. I can call my own hours and make a little extra money on the side, and it's really fun to do. Well, your work is very fun, and it's very, very beautiful. I always imagine stained glass is sort of... Um, like painting but using glass, but it's, it's a much more structured type of medium. By taking the leisure learning class at McNeese, which I happen to be teaching right now, I decided to kind of give back because that's how I got into it. I've done two, this is my second class now I'm doing at McNeese, and it's a basic process. And once you learn about cane and copper foil, it's the two major processes that are used. You can start going your own direction with it. It's, it's once you know the, the basics of it, which I teach, you can take it from there. Okay. Do you come up with the designs ahead of time, or, or do you ever work and just kind of let the, the pieces fall as they may? No. Pretty much you have to develop a design first. Mm -hmm. And you, there are all kinds of designs that you can purchase, but I really like doing my own design. It's, I feel more creative by doing it. If, if someone wants something special, then I look up pictures and come up, you know, say, well, I, you know, that would work, and, and try to make it work, which the kiss and some of these are, I have to show this, which I got this out of the book, and, mm -hmm. and I had a new saw that could do some uh, curves, and I thought, I can do that in stained glass, and I'm just really proud of the way it worked out. Cause well, it's it's you know, it worked really well. It's absolutely gorgeous, yeah, yeah. beautiful Art Deco, classic Art Deco piece. He brought some other of your pieces along with you. Can you tell us about them? By all means. Uh, this is one I just recently did, and it's based on the cover of a book uh, about the red bird, the gift of the red bird by Pamela de Arcy. And, and the white background represents snow. It's a snowy scene with the red bird, and I, I just love it. And I've kind of gotten into birds lately, and I've done the little robin, and I've done some small red birds, so they're fun. Uh, the Macnese Cowboy, I just love, and I've done and sold four or five of these, and I have permission from Macnese to do as many as I want because I'm a Macnese alumni. Well, it is and, fantastic uh, looking. Yeah. It's amazing so, how you've got those little tiny pieces of glass, even the, the horse's hooves. I really, I, I love my Macnese Cowboy, and they make great Christmas gifts if anyone wants to do a Christmas Macnese Cowboy. And then the pelican, I just, I was doing birds, and I decided since it's a state bird that I would do pelicans. And I've done three or four different pelicans, but this one was, of course, based on the state flag. Uh, and then this is just a little, I call him Happy the Happy the Pelican, well, just a small piece. Well, the pieces are a lot of fun, and they're very beautiful. You're right, they would make great gifts. We've got the information on the screen for your Facebook page where they yes. can contact you through there. Thank you so much for coming by to share these with Thank us. Thank you for having me. Up next, we're going to get a check of the forecast.